Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make a super easy and delicious caldo de camarón. In case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, so stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for the recipe, we're going to need raw shrimp, five New Mexico Guajillo chili pods, chile de arbol, three Roma tomatoes, half of a small white onion, three garlic cloves, two bay leaves, tomato sauce, dried ground shrimp, three small potatoes, corn, carrots, celery, one calabacita or chayote, cilantro or epazote, and all of our spices that I will link in the description box. So these are ingredients, now let's get started. Alrighty guys, so first we're going to begin by frying all of our ingredients so we can make our tomato chile broth. So we're going to grab a small frying pan, we're going to set it on medium high heat, and we're going to add a little bit of oil. So we're just going to wait for the oil to heat up and then we can begin frying. All right, so once our oil is hot, we're going to start by frying our onion and garlic cloves. So just give them a couple minutes. All right, so after the couple minutes, we're going to fry our chili pots. Just make sure that you remove the seeds. And this one's cooked fast, so just make sure that you do them quick. So just give them a couple seconds and then flip them over. Alrighty, so once you got your chiles all nice and fried, we're going to set them to the side and then do the same to the chile de arbol. You went on the loose. There you go. Alright, so after a couple seconds, move them to the side and now we're going to fry the tomatoes. And the tomatoes, I cut them into four strips like that. Okay, so now we're just going to give the tomatoes a couple minutes. Alright, so just flip them over to the other side. All right, so after a couple minutes, we're going to turn it off. We're going to add one cup of water. So we're going to cover it and let them sit for about 10 minutes. All right, guys, so after 10 minutes, now we are ready to blend. All right, so just transfer everything to your blender cup along with our tomato sauce. All of our spices the ground dried shrimp, salt, and four cups of water. So now we're just going to blend everything together until we have a smooth broth. All right, so once we have our broth ready, now we are ready to begin cooking. All right, so we're going to grab our stock pot, we're going to set it on medium high heat, and we're going to transfer our broth. And make sure that you strain if you need to. And to the broth, I'm also going to add more water. All right, so I add an additional six cups of water. So now for this part, just make sure that all of your shrimp shells are nice and clean because we're going to throw them in into our broth. So I'm just going to use my steamer and I'm just going to place them on top. All right, so now we're just going to cook them for 20 minutes. So we're just going to get all the flavor out. All right guys, so after 20 minutes, this is what our broth should look like. So at this point, we're going to remove the shrimp shells. All right, so at this point, you're going to check your broth for salt and see if you want to add any more. And now we're just going to add our potatoes and carrots. Along with our epazote. And the two bay leaves. All right, guys, so after 15 minutes, we're going to add the rest of our vegetables. So I have my Mexican squash, chayote, my baby corn and celery. So we're just going to throw them in. And I'm also going to add chile chipotle. So I got about four of them. So now we're just going to mix it and we're going to let our vegetables cook for about five to seven more minutes. All right guys, so after seven minutes, we're going to add our shrimp. And along with our cilantro. 
So now we're just going to cook the shrimp for about three to five minutes. And let me tell you that it smells delicious. Alrighty guys, so after a few minutes, our delicious caldo de camarón is done and now we are ready to serve. Ready guys, and now for the fun part, serving. Our delicious broth. All right, so now we are ready to top it with some lime juice. All right, so I'm just going to squeeze some lime juice and I'm going to enjoy it with some tostadas and aguacate. But that's basically it. Now we are ready to enjoy our delicious caldo de camarón. All right, guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. I am so ready. Let me tell you guys that caldo de camarón, it's so easy to make. And of course, if you want to add more seafood, you can throw it in um, before, you know, the shrimp. But let me tell you that it's super delicious. So I hope you give it a try and enjoy. So I got my shrimpy in there, my potato and celery. And of course you need to have the broth. And it's still hot, but let's enjoy it. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm I got a mouthful. Let me tell you that it's so delicious. I like my caldo de camarón to be spicy. So it is spicy. But of course, if you don't want it to be spicy, then just don't add the chile de árbol and the chile chipotle. But it is so, mysteriously, super delicious.